Hey, Ruth Ann, welcome to Talk CDL once again. Hey. I always welcome you. I know, I don't know why. Well, it's, I feel like I should. So here we are, and we are actually going to start uh, a new segment like we used to do years ago called Carrier Spotlight. Mm -hmm. And this spotlight, for all drivers to know, is going to be companies that we, we spotlight, um, but it'll be separate from the normal podcast that'll be released like midweek sometime. So we are going to start off with one of our carriers that's a sponsor of the show, Carter Lumber. Within. It's the carrier that we talk a lot about that wants class A and class B drivers for local runs. Yeah, so drivers, if you're east of the Mississippi, you're going to want to at least tune in for the next 15, 20 minutes and hear what Carter Lumber has to offer you. Right now, we have Russ with us. He's one of the managers. Russ, are you out of Akron? Uh, yes, sir. And what, what's your last name, Russ? Murphy, M-U-R-P-H-Y. And you are the, the head honcho at the Akron store, correct? That is correct. So how are you doing today? Uh, very good. How about yourself? I'm not too bad. How long have you been with Carter Lumber? Uh, about 22 years. Oh, wow. Nice. So, I and mean, how long has Carter Lumber been in business? Uh, since 1932. Really nice. Coming up on 100 years here in another yes. decade. Yeah, nice. Wow. So, uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, the operation and, and, and like what you guys do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, how, do, how does the day unfold? First off, Carter Lumber is a supplier for, what, what I'm guessing is you're more of a supplier for home building and stuff like that, for building materials? Yes. Yep, building materials. Yes, sir. We start every morning, um, usually about 4 o'clock in the morning, I'll have guys here, uh, they're building loads, they're loading trucks, you know, getting stuff ready for the day. Normally, if when a driver comes in, his load is loaded, strapped, checked, everything's ready to rock and roll. He gets in, he does his pre-check, logs in, he's ready to go, hits the road running. We try to do that every day because first stops are very important. It's good to start off on the right foot, and it also limits, you know, standing around. You know, a lot of guys want to come in. They want to get their, their runs done, and they want to go home. And, uh, I mean, we offer that because my drivers usually get here at 6. We start at 4, so everything's ready to go for them when they want to roll. That was going to be one of my questions. So you actually you have people that do the loading, and the truck driver, he just comes in and picks up a preloaded trailer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, his truck is loaded. Like I said, we have spare, spare trailers loaded, ready for the second runs. We're getting an additional trailer in to basically limit the turnaround time. So a lot of guys, they want to go, you know, they don't want, they don't want to stand around. They don't want to wait. They just want to go. So we, we try to accommodate that and it helps us be more efficient in the yard. So Russ, as far as shifts go, you're, you're, we're talking right now, we're talking morning shift. Is there, is that the only shift Carter Lumber does? Like you don't have guys clocking in at like four o'clock in the afternoon and running till midnight no sir uh, i can tell you on, on a normal day our cd most all our drivers because we also have non-cdl drivers um, for box trucks and flatbeds but for our cdl drivers we're you're running usually around 6 a.m to 3 p.m I, I like when my guys are out i leave at 4 p.m so i want to make sure that my drivers are back i don't i don't like them out after i leave so these guys can max out their hours. Like, you, like, did you say it's Monday through Friday, pretty much their work week? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and, and they, can, they can run, they can drive for 11 hours. They can work for 14 hours a day, but they can drive for 11 hours. So, but like I said, we very rarely, very rarely, you're, you're, you're working nine, 10 hours a day. Now, what about for the guy that wants overtime? Can he, is there Saturday work for a guy that wants to volunteer? Or is that you're pretty much a Monday through Friday operation? It's a Monday through Friday operation, but if a guy comes back and, you know, he wants to get hours, I, I have no problem, no problem paying overtime because, I mean, I want the guys to take care of their trucks. I want them to have time to, to maintenance things and, you know, swap out straps and, and do the things to keep their truck right. But we do that all the time. So as far as a radius, you know, like just for like, for example, let's just stick with class A for a second and we'll get to the B in a second. So a class A driver that works for Carter Lumber out of the, Ac say the Akron facility, what is, what do you think the farthest out he'll deliver? Like he won't, he won't go down to Columbus or anything like that. He's, he's pretty much the Akron area, like a radius or how, how does that work? I would, I would say it's a, it's a 150 mile radius. Uh, we go as far north as, as, as the lake, Lake Erie. You know, we go as far west as, I'm going to say Elyria, a little further west than Elyria, a lot in Medina. You'll do the north side of Columbus. A lot of times we, we try not to do the south side of Columbus because of the time factor. And plus, we also have other locations towards that area to, that we can service that business. But, yeah, you're looking north side of Columbus all the way out towards Youngstown. So, yeah, it's about 150-mile radius. We don't go out of state a lot, very, very rarely. 
You had mentioned earlier about the drivers and their trucks. Tell us, do the drivers keep their own truck or where do the trucks go? Do they get to take them home? What, what kind of situation is that? Okay, when they, they bring them back the last day, everybody, you don't have an assigned truck, but everybody knows who drives that truck. So if, if Nick's on vacation, normally no one drives that truck. If, you know, if, if Bill's on vacation, normally nobody drives that truck, but it's not really an assigned truck. Okay, so they, 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 they know, they pretty much know who's, who's got their favorite trucks and they kind of stay with their favorite and they can, like you said, have their specific straps that, that you supply, but to where they have, you know, some of them get really comfortable with a specific type so they can have sure. it the way they want. Absolutely, absolutely. That is the case here. And where do those trucks stay? They stay, they stay in the yard, in the, in, at the location. So they don't have to worry about trying to find a place to park their trucks at all? No, not at all. Not at all. Did, did you mention how far out you actually try to hire these drivers from your actual terminal? I, we, we normally will we'll put them up on sites. Um, if we're, you know, we're looking for a CDL guy, CDLA, CDLB, we'll put it out on a site. A guy will come in and say, hey, you know, I'm interested. And a lot of times I'll get the, even if he's like, Say he's in West Virginia. I'll say, okay, well, you know, this is the Akron store, but I do have a store close to you, and I can reach out to that guy if you're interested. So a lot of times if I see it, I'm always trying to help somebody out, especially if we can get a good driver in. I have no problem. I can reach out to other locations and say, hey, I got a guy, or hey, I got a guy that's real close to you. He's looking for a job. You know, here's his name, and here's his contact. So, yes, normally if I see something like that, I will pass it along to the closest store. What kind of requirements are you looking for in a driver? I can say, I mean, mostly for me, it's attitude. I mean, can you physically do the job? Are you going to have a good attitude? Are you going to Are you going to treat the customers the right way? Because you know that's what we're all about. We got to take care of our customers because if we don't have any customers, nobody has a job. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to qualifications, I, I honestly, if you're physically able to do the job, um, we do some job site pickups with a machine. Everything everything we deliver, we have a machine with it. It's a uh, truck mounted forklift. So you're not having to hand stack stuff. You can just go come in, pick it up. What kind of experience do you want them to have? I will hire guys right out of school. Really? Um, yeah, I will hire a guy right out of school. So class A, class B, Russ, right out of school. Yes, yes, right out of right out of trucking school. That's beautiful. And, and now let me ask you: Does that go for all of Carter Lumber? Because you have 160 locations. So um, I guess it's all east of the Mississippi. So is the hiring requirements the same? Can a driver say in uh, Virginia? I don't know if you have a f- facility there, or a we driver do. in Pennsylvania. Can they all come fresh out of trucking school and be home every day, local trucking? I can say, depending on the location, I, I can't speak for all the managers, but I, I couldn't see a manager turning a guy down that was no. I, I couldn't see it. If, if you need a guy, and, and yeah, you're going to take a guy with experience over a guy who's brand new, but it's going to be a big... Uh, case by case basis you know you're going to sit down you're going to have the conversation with the guy you're going to you know give him a rundown you know are you local you know what are you looking to do and and you're going to take the best candidate um we we have experienced drivers at this location so it makes it easier for us to take a guy who's brand new and we can say this is how we do things Mm -hmm. you know this is the safe way to do it right you know especially with the machine you know a lot of guys don't have that experience with the truck mount a forklift I'll, I'll put a brand new guy in for, for a month with another driver. It, I, however long it takes, it doesn't make any difference to me. It's kind of hard for me to speak about other locations because I don't know, you know, their attitudes about it. But I couldn't see a manager turning a guy down just because he didn't have any experience. What kind of, what, what's your age minimum? Age minimum? Or did you, yeah, did like, you say minimum? Yeah, because, I mean, with some, when they're inside the state, if they get their CDL now inside the state, they can start at a younger age. But what does what does Carter Lumber require as far as with insurance, What they're, what, how young they have to, you know, what's the minimum requirement for that? To operate equipment at Carter Lumber, you got to be 18 years old. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know about CDL. I don't think there's a requirement on CDL. I really don't. Yeah, if, if you look at interstate versus intrastate, I see what Ruthann's getting at. Somebody can get their Class A in the state of Ohio at 18. They just can't cross state line until they're 21. And they're actually the DOT's working on changing that now. But so may, it would be nice to find out if, if you could take a Class A 
driver fresh out of school that's say 19 years of age driving a class a cdl if they yeah if they haven't changed that though i i know i know i believe we are interesting yeah you said that you don't leave you don't cross the border so that's what i was assuming but i wanted to clar- clarify it and make sure everybody didn't know because you know that's a great career start for these these young men out here that are just getting into the cdls yeah we have we have young truckers people that are like just you know a lot of high schools are implementing plans now for cdl drivers believe it or not California, um, Maryland. We've been seeing them pop up all over the place, like in shop class, VOAG class. Now they have trucker class in a lot of them. And we get we get emails from these young truckers, uh, you know, asking, do you know of a place that will hire me at 18 to drive intrastate? And we don't know of many because of insurance reasons a lot of companies do or don't. But it would be really awesome with, with all your locations. You sure could help out some young people getting, you know, into the industry. I agree. Yep. So, hey, a question for you. Now, uh, you have, you have, you, you do have um, van trailers and flatbed trailers. Is that how that works over there? You have obviously flatbed for like trusses probably and long boards, but, but you also, do you also haul the, uh, the 53 foot dry vans? Uh, we do not. We do not. At this location, we do not have those, those, uh, pieces of equipment the, tr- the trailer would be a flat and it would have a, a truck minor forklift on the back and now the truck minor that's that the three-wheel moffet is that what that is yes sir okay and so you guys provide the training for that yes sir also awesome that is really cool um so ruthann what did you have what kind of benefits what could, what, what what can a driver expect from carter lumber if they are hired on i can tell you that we do we do medical dental vision um, we have life insurance. We have, I, I, I was told it was similar to a teacher is what I've been told. And it's, and it's relatively inexpensive. It's not very expensive. We don't, we haven't raised rates, I believe in three or four years for the employee, but I've been told it's similar to a teacher. We have a 401k, a 401k match, um, up to 6%, they wow. match at a quarter up to 6%. Um, there's different retirement investment opportunities with they offer Roths. We have a, a company that manages that for us. So, yeah, it, the benefits package is decent. Uh, you get paid time off, um, vacations. After, I believe, a year, you get two weeks vacation. Um, you get three sick days. At this location, I, I, I call it paid time off. We have, uh, after 10 years, you get three weeks paid vacation. Jury duty pay, I mean, it's, it's extensive. Sounds like it's great. And they get paid hourly, right? Yes. And, yeah, we know that Carter Lumber has... Uh a good paying job. You wouldn't be there 22 years, Russ. I love this company. I, I couldn't I couldn't think of working anywhere else. With 160 locations, I would guess there's probably a lot of drivers that have been around for many, many years there and have retired. Yes, yes. I mean, I've, I have guys, when I first started, I've got a core of guys that's been with me over five years. Um, I, of course, I have new guys, you know, other guys move on to other locations, but I do have, I have core guys. My class A guys have been here over five years, both class A guys. Hmm. Well, that, see, to me, when you see longevity at a company, that tells you a lot about the company. It definitely does. So now when applying, we, we obviously we have a commercial with Carter Lumber running on Talk CDL every week. Um, we send them to carterlumber.com forward slash Talk CDL, and there's a small little uh, application or whatever you would call it. It's like five or six questions, Ruthann, mm-hmm. that they fill out. And then I guess after that, somebody can get a hold of them, bring them in. So is it a pretty quick hiring process, what I'm getting at? Like if somebody applied today, when, when are they on the road? Uh, you, you drug screen them, orientate them, and get them on the road within a couple of days? How does that work? I would say that the whole process, starting from the beginning, we have to wait for a background check um, and a drug test. We do wait for that. We do the first day, I'm going to say it was paperwork and orientation, safety training on a computer, safety tra- live safety training, and then they're on the road. I'm The last guy I hired was a Class B. He was on the road in two days. So it probably took a week to get him in, you know, to get everything taken care of, and then two days he was on, he was on the road. Mm-hmm. Ruthann, a young man called me last night and was talking to me, and he said he's 
graduating trucking school. This guy was in upstate New York. And he said, yeah, I'm looking to be home every day. And I my literally said to the guy, I said, well, then throw your CDL away. <laughs> I said, if you don't put some time on the road, you know, you're not going to um, really break into the industry that well. But if I would have known Carter Lumber, you know, I don't know if he's near one of their facilities. But I mean, I think this is a, I think it's the opportunity. I did not realize then mm-hmm. the opportunities. Right. I agree. Yeah. That's awesome. So Russ, uh, do you have anything you'd like to add for us? I mean, I, just out of, off the top of your head, I mean, you said there's 160 locations. Can you rattle off some cities where there's a Carter Lumber near one of these drivers that are listening? Well, I can tell you that we have, I, I got the states. I, I, I can get close to the cities. I can get the states. Um, we've got Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, West Virginia, Kentucky, Virginia, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. And we have 170 locations. Um, where, just out of curiosity, where in Pennsylvania is your location? Uh, we have one in Erie. Uh, we have one in... Uh, you know what? I really have to look. Okay. To you, you know, let me know. I'm actually coming up that way in a week. I'm going to be going to Pennsylvania, and then I'm going to be heading over to West Virginia to hunt. And uh, I'd love to stop in and maybe video some of the trucks at one of the terminals. I'm going to be coming through North Carolina all the way up to Pennsylvania, and then I'm going to backtrack over to West Virginia. Yeah, I, it, absolutely. You're more than welcome to come in and take a look. I, I know, the, like I said, for Pennsylvania, I know we have one in Erie. I believe there's one in Lancaster. Where at North, do you know where the North Carolina one's at? North Carolina is going to be um, Charlotte. There's, I believe there's four locations around Charlotte, Rock yep. Hill. I believe is Rock Hill, North Carolina, or is that South Carolina? Um, I think Rock Hill, South Carolina. I think it's at the top of South Carolina, in, in almost in the North. I think, if I remember correctly, I'm not sure. It could be North Carolina, um, but I am coming right through Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte's beautiful. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to set something up and maybe stop in there. Awesome. Uh, so go ahead, Ruthann. I figured I would ask Russ. What would you want to say to me to have me come work for Carter Lumber? Yeah, give give us uh, give us a couple in, in closing. Give us some really good reasons why a truck driver should choose Carter Lumber for real, not just the good money they can make, but uh, why really Carter Lumber? Why is it a good? What uh, made you stay twenty two years? Why is it a retirement choice? Well, I, what made me stay is because I, I work with family. I work with my family and my friends. I mean, I love these guys. And when I say family, I mean, I feel like these guys are my family. You know, they're not my family, but I feel like they are. And, and it's a family-owned company. We treat our people the right way. I'm not going to treat people like garbage. I got people that underneath me, you know, supervisors, dispatchers. It doesn't. It, we treat people the right way because I want somebody to want to come work. I don't want them to come work here because they have to work. Mm-hmm. I want them to come work here because they get treated the right way. I like that's, that. That's what made me stay 22 years. And, I, and I've told this to guys, you know, I had a guy come in my office the other day. He had some problems. We worked through it. No problem. I mean, talking family problems at home. I said, you don't need to worry about that. I said, we got you because you're part of the family here. We're going to help you get through your family problems at home. And, and I don't just say that. I live it. Ruth Ann, I've always said you could pay me 5000 bucks a week if I'm miserable. I'm not going to stay somewhere. No. Sounds like Carter Lumber is really cool. It I does. might actually quit my job and go up there and work for Russ. <laughs> Want to come up? Akron, went, Ohio, baby. He wouldn't last that far up north. <laughs> you don't like the no, cold. Baby, and, down in Florida. It's nice and warm. It's going to snow this week. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and Russ, we are Steelers fans in this family, so I don't know if you're uh, on well, the Brown I'm side. Not, or not. Not because, you can't work here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I could tell you right now it's 70 degrees here. Yeah. Like and, 70 it's, yeah. it's not too bad today. It's about 65 today. And yes, you can work here and be a Steelers fan because I'm surrounded by Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 70 degrees here with a hurricane going on. <laughs> All right, well, Russ, thank you so much for coming on and letting letting everybody know about Carter Lumber. Um, we, I, I tell you, some of the things that we've learned today, Ruthann, about you know a guy coming out of school. That's so awesome. Yeah. Um, we hope that. Uh, you know, Carter Lumber keeps to th- keeps on thriving and growing and, and providing, you know, employment for people across the country. And if there's any, any time you ever want to come back on the show, Russ, just let us know. We'd love to have you back on. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Russ. Thank have you, a, Russ. Yeah. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. And that was Carter Lumber. And I want to one more time leave the address. If you're a driver that's a student graduating near one of these Carter Lumber facilities, or if you're a driver that's over the road and you're wanting to be home every day, get out, you know, get out of the craziness of being mm-hmm. over the road. Go to www.carterlumber.com 
com forward slash talk cdl and if you by chance just pick up the phone and call them go ahead and let them know that you heard about uh carter lumber on talk cdl and good luck with your your uh, new employment with carter lumber yeah uh, um definitely fresh eyes over 100 well at 170 locations right now east of the mississippi we're saying we are out of here peace peace praise lord